With the amount of motorcycle gear out there, it can be hard to find what's best for you. So that's why I wanted to make this video of the best budget-friendly motorcycle gear for both men and women. If you're new here, my name is Rhea, AKA Ride with Rhea, and I make motorcycle content and I ride a Honda Ripple. As you probably know, motorcycle gear is expensive. It can get up to $1,000 for just one piece of gear. So in this video, I'll have a list of gear in all categories from head to toe that's affordable and will keep you safe. And everything that I mention and will have up on the screen will be linked down below in the description box. And like I mentioned before, these are recommendations for men and women, and a lot of this gear is unisex. The first category that I wanna cover and what I think is the most important are helmets. Now you probably already know this, but helmets have an insane price range. They can go anywhere from $100 to over a thousand bucks. So I personally would recommend dedicating a big chunk of your budget towards a really good helmet. There's a lot of scammy helmets out there. If you have the budget for it, I would say the helmets within the 300 and 600 ranges are pretty good, but this is a budget friendly video. So if you're a beginner and you're still trying to figure out if motorcycle riding is for you, I have some budget friendly helmet options that go from $100 to 300 or 400 max. My first recommendation is the Scorpion EXO R320 helmets. This is the first helmet that I bought and it's still the helmet that I use to this day. I just got a tinted visor for it. And if I'm being honest, if I was a bit smarter when I first started riding, I probably would have gotten a different helmet. Something a bit more expensive, a bit more protective, this is just very beginner level, probably one of the cheapest helmet options on the market. So if you're gonna get a Scorpion helmet, I actually recommend the 420. And as you can see on the back, it shows you that it is DOT certified. And then you can take a look at the padding and the inside as well. This is a size extra small and it fits my head perfectly. I'll have a bunch of other helmet recommendations up on the screen for you to take a look at. I'm actually about to upgrade my helmet and I'm thinking about getting the Biltwell Gringo SV helmet. It's more of the classic retro style helmet that I think will look great with my cruiser. Another great recommendation is the Sidichi Strata 3 helmet. It's around $319 and this one's a little more expensive at $400 but it's the Shuey RF SR helmet. Now if you're gonna go ahead and do your own research on helmets here are some important things to look out for. You want to make sure that it's certified so you're gonna want to look out for these things on the helmet. Another great thing is to make sure the inside has a lot of good padding and that it fits you well there's no room or space in the helmet and as tempting as they might seem I do not recommend those Amazon helmets that say that they're protective and things from random brands that no one's ever heard of. I know they're so cheap and they look like they'll do the job, but trust me, spending your money on a really good helmet is totally worth it. And if that seems like a bit too much for you, then just go based off of the brand. There's some really recognizable, great brands that make quality helmets, I can ensure you that they're certified and have all the protection. And a lot of these brands do have different price points. So it has more cost effective ones and then it has more extreme premium prices. Now let's talk about jackets. The first jacket that I ever bought was the Revit Eclipse women's jackets. I think it was around $190. It's a mesh jacket and it is so perfect. And they have a men's version and a women's version of this jacket. I actually have the jacket with me and I will try it on to show you guys. I still wear this jacket to this day. It's my go-to and I'm going to zip it up so you can see what it looks like. I like the way that it fits, it's super snug. I need a mesh jacket for my weather conditions that I ride in, so this one has just been perfect for me. Another great brand is this jacket. It also has back paddings, which my other jacket does not have. And this one has a removable interior lining, which I think is pretty cool. This makes it waterproof. Then you can take it out if that's too much. Just super comfortable, breathable. I would say that this jacket gives you way more airflow than the Revit jacket that I just showed you guys. This one looks a bit more bulky on, but it's not too bad. And here is this jacket. And the price point for that one is around 100 to $200. I think I'll link one that's around 250. For men, the Built Techno 2 jacket is really great. That one's $140. The Dainese Airframe jacket is great. That one's $150 right now. I think it's on sale. Usually it's around 200. And then I'll also give you some leather jacket recommendations. Built has jackets for men and women around 220 bucks. The Street and Steel Outlander jacket is great too. And they have a women's leather jacket. I think it's called the Athena around $200. And Built also has a desert air kind of hybrid leather and mesh jacket for women. The next category is riding pants. There's the Revit Airwave women's pants for around 220. Logan Air Pants, and I think those are around 200. Some really popular women's riding pants are the Oxford Super Jeggings 2.0. Those are usually 130. And the Oxford Super 2.0 leggings. Those are definitely on sale right now for around $80. Usually they're around 140. And I have more men's pants, but first I wanna mention these Pandamoto Skin Armored Leggings for women. These are the ones that I own, and I just wear them under regular pants. So it's still stylish, but I am protected 
on the inside. And this is a bit more pricey, around 250 bucks. So for men, there's the Revit Eclipse 2 pants for 170. And again, for the guys, I think you're gonna love this brand. It's called Ugly Bros. They have really awesome looking cargo pants with pads, only for around $230. And I'll have a few more options linked down below. Next category is riding gloves. Now this, you definitely don't have to break the bank. There are some quality gloves for $40. Now don't do what I did and buy cheapo gloves off of Amazon because they are falling apart, as you can see. They're not the best quality. And you can find some really great gloves that are protective, good quality for $40. But if you wanna go ahead and do your research on some even cheaper gloves, things to look out for are hard protective covers for the knuckles. Make sure they're real authentic leather or sturdy material that'll withstand a crash or fall. Because what's the point of wearing good gloves if they're just gonna rip as you slide and then your skin skids the pavement? That's not fun. I personally like gloves that have the inside padding for the palms, so that's what I look out for. I've seen some gloves cost more than 100 bucks. I personally wouldn't spend more than $100 on riding gloves. I'll give you some recommendations that are $100 and below. The Superfly Mesh Gloves, and those are $40. Alpine Stars has a wonderful selection of gloves, and they usually have a pretty good price range. I think these ones are $70. The Sidichi Bruno Gloves are awesome. There's the Scorpion EXO Gloves, and they have the padding on the palm, which I really like. And then on the more expensive end, we have these Revit Gloves that are around $110. And finally, we'll get into some riding boots and shoes. Now, I do not remember where I got these shoes from. I think I've just had them and they became my riding shoes but they're not necessarily riding specific boots so I don't recommend these personally but if you're gonna go ahead and ride in shoes that are not motorcycle specific I highly recommend that they at least cover your ankle and they're a good sturdy material in the event of an accident. I'll have some recommendations that are actual riding boots that do lace up and look like these. I tuck my laces in so they don't really catch on anything. So boots that look like those are the Street and Steel Runaway Women's Riding Boots. Those are $130. There's also the Forma Crystal Women's Boots and the Forma Joy Boots. They don't lace up and they're a bit shorter, but they look nice. And those are 180. For guys, Alpine Stars makes a lot of really great shoes and boots. These ones are $160. Street and Steel also makes some really great shoes that look like everyday street shoes. These are $90. So those are all my suggestions. And I do want to recommend some websites where you can find all types of gear. I'm sure you've heard of Revzilla. It has every type of gear you could possibly imagine and almost all the major brands you can think of. They usually have a lot of things on sale, so be sure to look out for that. You can be getting things for $100 off or more. Cycle Gear is a great website as well. And for women's gear, Wind and Throttle is great. And then of course, any of these wonderful brands, you can go directly to their website and maybe they also have a sale going on and you can get some of their gear for a lot cheaper. So I hope this video was helpful and if it was, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more motorcycle content. I post on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Also something I wanna mention, those are the only platforms I post content on. So I will have my official and only social media platforms linked down below as well in the description box. If I forgot to mention something that you would recommend, please leave it down in the comments below and I will check that out. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.